So NNN just released a new built-in MCP connection, and it's a game changer. It's going to allow your tools such as ChatGPT, Claude, and Livable direct access and context to your NNN instance and workflows. So what does that all mean? It means that you can now call workflows through ChatGPT and Claude and build easy UIs with Lovable that integrate seamlessly with NADN without having to spend time prompting and configuring the connection. In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest way to connect ChatGPT, Claude, and Lovable to your NADN MCP. For those of you who are new to MCP, you can think of it like a bridge that lets AI tools talk directly to your NADN instance. Think of it like giving ChatGPT direct access to your workflows. They can see what workflows you have, read your node configurations, and understand how the workflow operates to help you troubleshoot, or in the case of Livable, build a nice front end that connects to your NNN workflow. As always, I walk you through step by step how to set this up from scratch. So let's dive right in. So the first thing you want to do is head over to your NNN instance, and you want to make sure that you're on the latest version that allows for the MCP integration. And the way you would do that is to head over to admin panel, and on the dashboard, what you want to do is hit the gear icon, and you can make sure that the NADN version is the latest. So you could pick the latest table usually and then hit save changes. And then that will spin up the update to your instance. And you might have to wait a minute or two before being able to go back to your workflows. All right. So I'm going to open up my instance here because I've already updated it. So coming back to the instance, what you want to do is head over to the bottom left hand corner of your instance here and hit the three dot button and go to settings. And what you want to do is to pick the MCP access. So you should see this as an option. If you don't, that means you're not in the right version on NADN Cloud. So hit the MCP access. So here, as you can see, you can toggle on the enable MCP. And I've already have a few OAuth connections here done before. But if you're new to this, this is going to be empty. It doesn't matter because the reason why we're coming in here is we want to copy the URL here, which is a server URL to the MCP which is what we're going to use later on to connect to ChatGPT, Claude, and Livable. So in this case, once that's done, one last step before you leave the NNN instance is to make sure that you activate the workflows that you want connected to the MCP. So here I have a workflow that I've built in my past video. So it is an inbound workflow where it researches the inbound lead information that's coming in the company, what it does, etc., and then it generates a script which will go into a video AI clone of myself with a personalized outbound message in a video format that will be sent to the email of the lead. And then the other branch is basically creating a voice note in my voice. So I'm cloning my voice with 11 labs and sending that to the phone numbers of the lead. And if you're interested to check out how to build this workflow from scratch, I'll link out my video up here and down in the description below as well. But the important thing is you need to start a workflow with a webhook in order to have the MCP integration available for that particular workflow. So three things need to happen with a workflow that you want to connect the MCP integration with, which is to start with a webhook trigger and then to activate it so that it's in production. As you can see, this is already activated. So it's an active workflow in production. And third, you need to go to the settings. So once this is done, you need to go to the three dots over here and under settings, go to the available on MCP right here and just toggle that on and hit save and you're good to go. So the other way to do that is from the list of workflows. Once you activate it, what you can do is hit the three dots here as well. And it says remove MCP access here because I already activated the MCP. But if you haven't, it will say enable MCP, right? And so there are two ways to do that. So once that's done, what you want to do is head over to chatgpt.com and in the user chat interface, go to the bottom left hand here and go to settings and go over to apps and connect this right here, right? So as you can see, if you scroll down, you don't actually see NNN as part of the default apps that's available. So what you want to do is to hit advanced settings right here and toggle on the developer mode. And the moment you do that, as you can see, the chat interface field is going to turn orange and it'll say developer mode. Now, once that's enabled, you can now actually connect it to your app or connector. And so you want to hit create here and we're going to name it NNN because we're connecting it to NNN. And the MCP server URL, this is where you want to paste the earlier URL that we got from the NADN instance. So I'm just going to open that up so that it's clear. You go to MCP access, so you see the server URL that shows up after you toggle on the enable MCP. You copy that and you go back here and just paste the MCP server URL, right? As for the authentication, just leave it blank for now. You don't need that. So you want to tick the checkbox here and then hit create. Okay. And then a pop-up will appear and it will ask you for access 
from ChatGPT, so you want to hit allow. And just to make sure that it all works well, make sure that you're accessing it on the same browser as your NADN instance here. That way it will pop up the browser with the right access credentials that you need so that you can just hit allow, right? So just make sure that you're doing those two in the same browser, same thing with Claude and Livable later on. So now we're connected, as you can see, this works. So we want to check whether it actually can see the workflows that I have, right? So just heading back to my NNN instance very quickly here. So I have two workflows that I have activated and connect my, or enable MCP for. So if you go to MCP access and scroll down, you can see that there are two available workflows. So one is the inbound lead AI clone workflow, which I've also added a description. And yes, I actually forgot that you need to add a description and workflow. So just going back to the workflow here, one more thing that you need to do is to add a description for the workflow, describing what the workflow is about. The reason why this is important is because when you have multiple workflows that are available on the MCP, you need the LLM to know what this particular workflow is for, right? So therefore, when you say, hey, go fetch this workflow that does this, it actually knows what this workflow does. So this description really helps, even though it actually has context as to the node configuration and how it all comes together, this is just going to help in terms of giving it context, right? So just make sure that you add that before making it live. So what you wanna do here is go back to settings under MCP access. What I was trying to show was that I have two workflows here, which is my workflow 31, which is just a random name, and then the inbound lead AI clone workflow, which I've described earlier. So what I want to do now is to just ask ChatGPT, hey, how many NNN workflows do I have on my NNN instance? You can access this with the NNN MCP. All right, so I'm going to type that in. So it's now looking for available tools. This is to make sure that it's connected to my instance. So there you go. It looks like your NNN an instance currently has two workflows. Here they are, my workflow 31 and the inbound lead AI clone workflow. So yeah, so it is connected. I can maybe ask again, what does the inbound lead AI clone workflow do? Okay. Okay, here's an inbound lead AI clone workflow. The workflow automatically turns a new B2B website lead into personalized outbound outreach experience powered by AI. So it actually has a full context of what is in there, right, in the workflow. So it has the voice note, it has a video gen, email copywriting. So yeah, so it has all the context that I want it to have when it comes to the workflow. So it could even run a test if you like, so it can actually call the workflow without you going into the NNN instance, help you improve conversion messaging, da da da. So yeah, that's all good. It's not connected with ChatGPT, so let's move on to Claude. So with Claude, it's almost very similar to what we did with ChatGPT. Where you wanna go is, again, go to the profile section here on the bottom left-hand corner and head over to settings. And here you would see that they're connectors and what you want to do is head over to browse connectors on the top right hand corner here. And here you can see that NNN pops up. So if you don't see it immediately, just type in NNN and it'll come out and just click on that. And there you go. You can just simply connect NNN. And again, it's asking for the same thing, which is the MCP server URL, which we all know now that you can get from the NNN instance and go back here and just paste that over here, hit continue. And then it's going to take you know, maybe 20 to 30 seconds to connect. And the same pop-up also appears and you're going to hit allow. Again, this happens seamlessly because I'm accessing both cloud and the NNN instance on the same browser, right? If you're using NNN cloud. So there we go. It's now connected. And the way you would know that is by hitting this button over here and you can see that now NNN is already connected. So if you hit the arrow here, you can see that there are three actions or permissions that are available, which is execute workflow, get workflow details and search workflows. Right, so just to make sure it has access, we're going to ask it the same thing, which is, hey, how many NNN workflows do I have on my NNN instance? You can access this with NNN MCP. All right, so we're going to send it that. So it's going to ask me for permission to access NNN, and I'm just going to allow that. Of course, you can always pick always allowed, and then it will stop asking you every single time. But I'm just going to hit allow once there. So there you go. Uh, I have two workflows, and it's telling me what's inside the workflow, the information as well. So as you can see early on, under NNN, we have these three permissions, right? I just want to point out a quick difference between connecting NNN MCP to Claude this way versus the way I did before, which is a more technical way to do it. But you do get a lot more permissions. For instance, I'm pulling up my Claude desktop here, which is connected to the NNN MCP the way I did. And so you can see the NNN MCP shows up here, but you also see a custom connection NNN-MCP, which I've connected in my 
previous videos and I'll link that right up here and down in the description below if you want to follow step by step on how that's done. But the main thing is with this particular connection, you get a lot more options in terms of what it can do with your and then workflows. So for example, it can actually create new workflows, it can update workflows, it can basically fix workflows and stuff like that. So it can do a lot more than just the three that is available right off the shelf with the NADN MCP, right? So right now we can only search workflows, get workflow details, which it's doing here, and then it can execute workflows as well. But that's pretty much all they can do. So there's some limitations there. Maybe it'll be improved as NADN iterates the MCP connection, but right now I do feel the early integration that we did seems to give me a lot more flexibility and power in terms of having Claude interact with my NN instance. So just to point that out. So cool, now we've connected both ChatGPT and Claude. The last one we want to do is Livable. So Livable, if you're not familiar with it, it's a tool that creates apps and websites through vibe coding, right? So AI is going to code everything for you. You just need to tell it what you want to create and then it'll create that for you. But the cool thing is once you connect it with the NADN MCP, you can actually say, hey, I want a front end. And by the way, front end is just a fancy word for basically the web page that you see. This is called a front end for users to interact with. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of code. And you can say, for example, I want to create a landing page for this particular NADN workflow. So in this case, we have the inbound lead AI video clone generated workflow. And I can just say, hey, create a landing page where lead fills up a form. Then that form is going to be connected with the NADN workflow so that in a moment a lead fills up a form, it's going to activate the workflow and it's going to generate a video message for that particular lead as well as voice note for that particular lead, right? But the first thing we want to do is we want to hit the plus button here. As you can see, the integrations section popped up and we want to hit manage integrations. And here we want to scroll down and you can see NADNs right here. So we're going to hit setup and click connect. So server URL, we know where to get this already. It's the same one, which is from your NADN instance. Just copy the MCP server URL and just paste it over here. Hit on add server and a pop-up will appear. You want to hit allow. Again, this happens because we're using both on the same browser. Here we go. It's connected. I'm going to close that. So now that's connected. Okay. All right. So going back here, we know it's connected when under integrations and it then shows up. So what we can do now is give it a simple prompt. And again, this is not the best prompt, right? You can always go to ChatGPT or Claude to come up with a better prompt for Livable. But right now, I just want to show you kind of how it works. But, you know, I can say, for example, build landing page for Purple Unicorn Marketing with the goal of lead collection with a form where visitors can fill in their details to get in touch with us. Build in the same style of Asana. So I like Asana style. So basically, Asana's landing page looks like this. Talk with our sales teams. There's a form right here. And then I particularly like the pink color and stuff like that. So, you know, I just basically told Lovable that I want it in this style. So I actually paste a link to the landing page from Asana here. The landing page should fire the relevant information collected from the form and send it over to my NNN workflow title. So I'm giving it the title, the NNN workflow gets triggered by a webhook which collected. So I'm just describing a little bit what the workflow does, which I don't really need to technically because it can go into my NNN workflow and understand how it all works. But I'm just gonna fire that over to Livable and see what it does. All right, so it's taking some time to search the workflows right now. So I'm going to, again, same thing here. It's going to ask me for permission to get into my NNN environment. So I'm going to hit allow. Of course, you can also choose always allow. So, you know, you don't have to do that all the time. But yeah, all right, so I'm going to hit allow again. Cool. So it says, I have all the details of webhook, expects name, email address, phone number, company, industry, and LinkedIn URL. I'll create a stunning landing page inspired by Asana's clean professional style. Cool, so now I understand what the NADN workflow requires and then it's creating the landing page and the form based on that without me telling it very specifically what it needs and stuff like that. So that's the beauty of it because before having this MCP integration, what you would do is actually you had to specify, you know, what the webhook specs. And of course, one way is you can paste the entire JSON file from the NADN workflow over here to let it know, but it's just not the best experience in terms of building this out. All right, cool. So it seems to have come up with the first draft of what it looks like. Right now I am maybe about 60 to 70% happy with this, but the main point is with the form, you know, you have got the full name company, work email, phone number, so the stuff that I need to get my workflow working. So here, let me just do a quick test. So I filled it in with some dummy information, you know, with a particular lead, Teddy Joy, 
company Propnex with some email, which is my email right here, so that it doesn't send it to any random email. So under industry, there's a pretty cool drop down here just to kind of let you choose what kind of industry that particular lead is in. So I'm gonna choose real estate here. So on the CTA, it says get my personalized video. Of course you can tweak this because in production, you probably don't want this to say get my personalized video. It probably just says like get in touch or some low touch kind of CTA where it just shows interest. But in this case, I'm gonna just click that. So it sends something over to the NNN workflow and it's going to generate a personalized video as well as voice notes to that particular lead. And it's gonna look something like this. Hi Teddy, I came across Home Seekers and really liked how you are leaning into digital marketing with your own in-house media team and storytellers, not just plain listings. At Purple Unicorn, we help plug influencer-led format. So if you're interested to find out how all of that works, do check out my previous video where I actually built out the AI video clone workflow from scratch. But the point of this video is to show you how you can easily connect your and then an instance to all the tools that are available for MCP integration out there, which in this case, you know, we cover ChatGPT, Cloud, Lovable, but there are many other tools that have the capability to do that. But yeah, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you face any challenges in connecting the MCP with your NNN an instance and other tools. And also let me know what you'd like to see me cover in my next video. And as always, if you find this useful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.